Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee, A-Level Mathematics. We are continuing the parametric equation, and in today's lesson, we will go through the chapter 8, parametric equation, 8.4 section, points of intersection. And if you need to be able to solve the coordinate geometry problem involving some parametric equation, for example, if we have one question like this, the diagram shows a curve, C, with parametric equation, x equal to a t squared plus t, y equal to a multiplied by t cubed plus a, and t belong to r, where a is a non-zero constant, given that c pass through the point minus 4, 0. Find the value of a, and find the coordinate of the point a and b, this point a and b, which intersect with the y-axis, where the curve calls the y-axis. The first problem is that we have to find the value of a. Uh, at the point of minus 4 and 0, x is equal to minus 4 and y equal to 0. Hence, minus 4 equal to a t squared plus t, because x is equal to a t squared plus t. So, minus 4 is equal to a t squared plus t. If y equal to 0, that means y is equal to a multiplied by t squared plus a. We have two equations here. We're solving the equation 2 here. And we have 0 equal to a t squared plus a. That means t squared plus a is equal to 0. And t squared is equal to minus a. t is equal to minus 2. And we substitute t equal to minus 2 into the first equation here as the point minus 4, 0. Then from the equation 1 here, we got minus 4 equal to a minus 2 squared plus minus 2. We have minus 4 equal to 4a minus 2 and a is equal to minus 1 half. We solve the question a. And for the question b, we have find the coordinates of the point a and b, which the curve intersects the y-axis. So as a point A and B, the x coordinate is 0. So we got 0 equal to minus half t squared plus t equal to t multiplied by minus half t plus 1. That means t is equal to 0 or t is equal to 2. We put t equal to 0 into the y equation here, into this y equation, y equal to minus half multiply by 0 quick plus 8 equal to minus 4. And as t equal to 2, y equal to minus 8. Therefore, we have a equal to 0 minus 4 and b equal to 0 minus 8 because x is always equal to 0 when the curve is cutting the y-axis. So we've got two points here, minus 4 and minus 8 for the y. In example 2, if a curve is given parametrically by the equation x equal to t squared and y equal to 4t, the line x plus y plus 4 equal to 0 meets the curve as a. Find the coordinate of a. If we substitute x plus y plus 4 equal to 0, we substitute into the equation here, we got t squared plus 4t plus 4 equal to 0 because t squared is x and 4t is y. So t squared plus 4t plus 4 is equal to 0. That means t plus 2 to the square is 0 and t plus 2 is 0. t is equal to minus 2. And we substitute t equal to minus 2 into the x equation. We got x equal to t squared. x equal to minus 2 squared is equal to 4 and y is equal to 4t y is equal to minus 8. So we got the coordinate of a is 4 and minus 8. This is the coordinate of the curve meeting this line, x plus y plus 4. After these two examples, I have got some exercise for you. The exercise is question 3. We got a, b, c, d, e. Question 4, we got a, b, and c. Question 5, and finally, we got a challenge question, question number 6. So prepare your paper your pen and calculator. We are doing the math now. Question number three. Find the coordinate of the points where the following curve meets the x-axis. When something meets the x-axis, that means y is equal to zero. 
by then. So in A part, we got x equal to 5 plus t and y equal to 6 minus t. When y equal to 0, that means 0 equal to 6 minus t and t is equal to 6. And we substitute t equal to 6 into this equation. We got x equal to 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. So when y equal to 0 and x equal to 11, that means the point of intersection to x axis should be with x axis is 11 and 6. And b part, if we have x equal to 2t plus 1 and y equal to 2t minus 6, that means when y equal to 0, 0 equal to 2t minus 6. That means 2t equal to 6, t equal to 3. When t, t equal to 3, substitute into this x equation. So x is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7. The intercept point should be 7 and 0. And part c, x equal to t square, y equal to 1 minus t type t plus 3. That means when y equal to 0, 0 equal 1 minus t, t plus 3. t is equal to 1 or minus 3. We substitute t equal to 1 into this equation. So x equal to 1 square. So x is equal to 1. One of the intercept points should be 1 and 0. And the other intercept point is when t equal to minus 3. So we got minus 3 to the square, x equal to 9. And other point of intersection is 9 comma 0. This is the two intercept points with the x axis. Part D, x equal to 1 over t and y equal to t minus 1, 2t minus 1. And t not equal to 0. Because when t equal to 0, the x is undefined. So when y equal to 0, 0 equal to t minus 1 and 2t minus 1. That means t is equal to 1 or a half. When t equal to 1, substitute into this equation. x is equal to 1 over t, 1 over 1, and x equal to 1. One of the intercept points will be 1 and 0. And the other intercept point is when t equal to half. So x equal to 1 over t, 1 over a half. That means it's equal to 2. The other intercept point is 2 and 0. We got two intercept points for this parametric equation. And part 3e, x equal to 2t over 1 plus t, y equal to t minus 1, and t is never equal to minus 1, because if t equal to minus 1, x is undefined. So we got when y equal to 0, and 0 equal to t minus 9, t equal to 9. We substitute t equal to 9 into this equation. We got x equal to 2t over 1 plus t, equal to 2 times 9 over 1 plus 9, is equal to 18 over 10. That means it's equal to 1.8. So the intercept point of this parametric equation should be 1.8 and 0. Question number 4. A curve C has a parametric equation. x equal to 6 cosine t, y equal to 4 sine 2t plus 2. And t is from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. We have to find the coordinates of the points where the curve intersects the x-axis. When the curve intersects the x-axis, y is equal to 0. So we got y equal to 4 psi 2t plus 2. y equal to 0, that means 0 equal to 4 psi 2t plus 2. And psi 2t is equal to minus 1 over 2. And 2t should be equal to minus pi over 6. t is from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. That means 2t is from minus pi to pi. 
the range of 2t. Therefore, we have 2t is equal to minus pi over 6 or minus 5 pi over 6. t is equal to minus pi over 12 or minus 5 pi over 12. We got two solutions here. When we substitute t equal minus pi over 12 into the x equation, we got into x equals 6 cosine t. We got x is equal to 6 cosine minus pi over 12. So we got this from the calculation, we got 6 multiplied by 0.9659 is equal to 5.7. 954 and we substitute t equal minus 5 pi over 12 into x equation we got the x is equal to 6 multiplied by 0.2588 is equal to 1.5528 that means we have two intersection point one of the intersection point is 5.7954 comma 0 and the other intercept point is 1.5528 comma 0. This is the two intercept point of the curve with the x axis. And in part b, we show that the curve calls the lines y equal 4, where t equal pi over 12 and t is equal 5 pi over 12. When y is equal 4, that means 4 is equal to 4 sine 2t plus 2. And 2t is equal to pi over 6. And 2t is from the range of minus pi to pi. Therefore, we have 2t is equal to pi over 6 or 5 pi over 6. And t is equal to 5 over 12 or 5 pi over 12. So we have proved that as these two points, t equal pi over 12 or t equal 5 pi over 12, is the intersection with the lines y equal to 4. 4c, hence determine the coordinate of the point where y equal 4 intersect the curve. Since we know that in part a, we have t equal minus pi over 12 and t equal minus 5 pi over 12. And in part b, we have t equal pi over 12 and t equal 5 pi over 12. 12 and x is equal to 6 cosine t and we also know that cosine minus theta is equal to cosine theta that means in part a we got x equal to 6 cosine minus pi over 12 or 6 cosine minus 5 pi over 12. It's also equal to 6 cosine pi over 12 or 6 cosine 5 pi over 12. This is part B, right? This is from part A and this is from part B. And we know that cosine minus pi over 12 and cosine pi over 12 is the same. The x coordinates to be same with part A, so we get the points of intersection point with y equal 4 are 1.5528. This is what we got in part A and 4. The other point should be 5.7954 is also from part A and 4. This is the two intersection point of the curve with y equal 4. Question number 5. The curve C has parametric equation x equal to psi t 
and y equal to cosine t. The straight line L pass through the point A and B, where t equal to pi over 6 and t equal pi over 2 respectively. Find the equation for the line L in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0, where t equal to pi over 6, x is equal to psi pi over 6, so it's equal to half. And y is equal to cosine pi over 6 is equal to square root 3 over 2. So the point of intersection in here is half and square root 3 over 2, where t equal pi over 2, x is equal to psi pi over 2 is equal to 1, right? So y is equal to cosine pi over 2 is equal to 0. So the other intersection point should be 1 and 0. If we have a line pass through these two points, so if we have a line, a line L pass through these two points, uh, and from the two point form equation, we got y minus y1 over x minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's say this is the y and x1, this is the y and x2. We got here is y minus square root 3 over 2 over x minus half equal to 0 minus square root 3 over 2, 1 minus half. And we have 2y minus square root 3 over 2 over 2x minus 1 over 2 equal to minus square root 3 over 2 and 1 over 2. Okay, we multiply by 2 each together. We got 2y minus square root 3 over 2x minus 1 equal to minus square root 3 over 1. And we cross multiplication. We got 2y minus square root 3 equal to minus 2 square root 3x plus square root 3 here. We take everything to the left hand side. We got 2 square root 3x plus 2y minus 2 square root 3 equal 0. And we divide the left hand side and the right hand side by 2. We have square root 3x plus y minus square root 3 equal 0. And this is the form of ax plus by plus c equal 0, where a is equal to square root 3, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to minus square root 3. This is the form we have to expect in. Question number 6 is a challenge question. If we have a curve C1 as the parametric equation, x equal to e to the power 2t, and y equal to 2t plus 1, and the other curve C2 has the parametric equations x equal to e to the power t and y equal to 1 plus t squared. Find the coordinates of the points at which these two curves intersect together. So if we have x equal to e to the 2t and we take log to it, we got log x equal to log e to 2t. So we got log x is equal to 2t and we have this the first equation here and we substitute this first equation into the y equation so we substitute log x equal to 2t into this equation here so it's y equal to 2t plus 1 so it's y is equal to log x plus 1. We got the second equation here. 
And for this curve here, x equal to e to the power t. So we have log x is equal to t, the third equation. And we substitute log x equal to t into this equation here. Substitute log x equal to t into y equal to 1 plus t squared. So y is equal to 1 plus log x to the square. We got the fourth equation here. So now we take the fourth equation and the second equation here. We subtract 4 from 2. We got y equal to 1 plus log x minus y equal to 1 plus log x to the square. And we got 0 equal to 0 plus log x minus log x square. So we have here is just log x multiplied by 1 minus log x is equal to 0. That means it's either log x equal to 0 or log x minus 1 equal to 0. That means log x equal 0 or log x equal 1. And we got x is equal to 1 or x equal to e. We substitute x equal to 1 into the y equation. So we substitute x equal to 1 into y equal log x plus 1. We got y equal to log 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. So one of the intersection points should be 1 and 1. x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 as well. And the other point is that we substitute x equal to e into y equal to log x plus 1. So we have here is y equal to log e plus 1. We know that y equal to log e and log e is equal to 1. So y is equal to 1 plus 1 and y is equal to 2. So the other point of the intersection is when x equal to e, y is equal to 2. This is the two intersection point of this two curve here. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one. 852-6592-8609 好,多謝大家收聽我這個影片 如果你希望你的Mathematics 和你的英文是更加好的話 你想要一個Private Tutor 你可以隨時contact我的 令到你的DSC exam 或者你想考SAT 你也可以contact我 因為我也有一些私人的補習在這兩方面多謝大家 Thank you, bye bye, muchas gracias